we can't do that. But just looking at the completely negligible effect of this, look at the fact that hospitals are laying people off because the hospitals are empty. The, the huge swarm of patients that we were expecting to overwhelm our healthcare system never happened. And instead, it's underwhelming our healthcare system, which it turns out is just as bad. Now people are getting laid off. So, you know, I called this out fairly early. I said we need to be not 100% shutting down the border, but we need to stop tourism. We need to put an end to tourism. You know, like businessmen coming back, okay, we don't want to shut down business. We don't want to shatter the economy. But, yeah, we shouldn't be allowing people to just go visit China. I'm saying that ages ago. And now with what's going, uh, what, what's been going on, it's... We went from the media saying, it's nothing, don't close the borders, that's racist, to massive panic, you need to be fined for going to the park with your kids. And you know what? It's just based upon the details, you could accuse me of just being a uh, contrarian. Or it could be that the media just lies through its broken teeth and takes marching orders. Now, I didn't want to back off on that prediction that it was going to be bad. Because, well, just pride, right? I predicted it was going to be bad based upon the Chinese response. And then I had to eat my words and say, you know what, guys? I'm, I'm going to call, I was wrong. It's not that bad. It's, it's a lot of nothing is what we're seeing. And so the question is, why are we seeing this complete overreaction to it? When it's, listen, if it's obvious to me that it's nothing, again, not, not completely nothing, it is a really nasty flu, it does not justify the response, does not justify the overreaction.